Nico, as you're my cousin, I want you to use family business how you like. Cab, you call me. Thank cousin. That could be very wow. useful in this city. Holy shit, really? Roman now likes you a lot. He has a special ability to call up his car service and he will send you one of his guys to pick you up. Sweet. Big oh, flex. Sure. Ooh, uh, six eight. Pocket rockets, cause you know pocket rockets take out a pair of whores. Oh, they sure do, Troy. Man, I'm so excited I could pee. Now keep quiet. No, oh, sorry. Oh, oh, yeah. Wait, wait. Cummings is looking at his cards. This is a huge moment. Unbelievable. Oh wow. Man, he's all about the flop. Oh, fantastic. Ooh. I cannot believe that. Wow. He's folded. Take a look at that, ladies and gentlemen. You just saw history. Here. What? Absolutely incredible. <laughs> the crowds are going ballistic here in the desert. Hey, that's what it's all about. That and smoking and drinking yourself into an early grave. Hey, let's take a quick all right. look. This break is brought to you by Sprunk because commercial. Um, are... no. Nothing good? All right. Nope. Like a nest of cockroaches, just like the Liberty City of today, only with less rich hedge fund dorks trying to be homeboys. With tensions. All right. Oh, I love this show. Hold up. Hey, good to see you. Good to see you. All right. Hi, hey, everybody. My name is Boss Rutten. And I'm Jack. And welcome to the man's room. Yeah, where men can hang out. Okay, now, and tonight in the man's room, we're going to get personal. On this show, we're going to be discussing a lot, a lot of aspects of health, especially how to endanger the health of others with others. Did you? Not me. Artists. Now, we've got relationship advice, like how to avoid bruising the face. We're going to take some calls, advising women on how to deal with their men. But that's, that's pretty easy, right? I mean, it's just the thing that you need to do is a kick to the groin right there. And when your body connects with the reproductive organs of another man, let me tell you, buddy, it's pain and beauty. Also, we have a special, <laughs> and we call that special, the cubicle, the copier, and stabbing a co-worker in the eye with a little pencil. <laughs> like, like this. Look at the blood, look at the blood, look at the blood. Huh. This is going to be an unbelievable show. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to be discussing rectal marital Oh, shut up. First off, I want to talk to you about a second to learn, see if I can teach you how to understand your anger. Now, anger is the death of so many men. Heart problems, health problems, boldness, impotence, waking up in the middle of the night with your hands covered in blood and you have no idea what happened. Listen, I've been around. Anger. It's a four-letter word, and boy, does that bring you down. Channel that anger into something positive, like beating the shit out of little guys. Oh. Bah, bah, bah. That's right. No, pass. no that's, that's not nice. Hey, listen, we all hate it to be ignored, right? Some people try yoga or putting neon under the car, whatever that does. But getting the point across in this life is easier than you think. Dunk, 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 <laughs> just like that. Are you listening, sir, now? Are you listening? Do you see me now? Ha, I bet you he is going to see you. You want to get manhandled? Buck, buck, buck! This usually works for me. What about you? Man, you are really pent up. Yes. You know, you should try some aromatherapy. Hey, listen, the only aroma that I like is the smell of burning flesh. Oh. That's right, boss. That's right. You understand? Take the other day. I was walking, uh, talking to a friend of mine on the phone a long time ago. He was telling me how he liked the respect and attention from the fellow school teachers in school. Uh, what do you do if you don't get respect? Okay, so I told him, the way you get a man's attention is by doing the unexpected. But just like that, you see? It works with him, works for you. You know, you walk down the street, all nice. And looky look, what do we have here? Oh, it's the lamppost. Oh, this is your head. Respect <laughs> your lamppost against it. Do you like that? Do you see me now, huh? Do you see me now? Okay. I think now, in this teacher's lounge, trust me, those people there, they know he's around. Nobody will ignore him anymore. And if a woman walks by, the only thing you need to do, 
whip it out and say what are we going to do yeah boss i'm telling you people cower under their desks when he's nearby man it's much better yeah charmed i'm i'm sure uh, hey baz I, I think we need to take a commercial break oh this show is so good i don't know who the fuck created this i don't know if it's just a repeat but fuck it's so good oh, i think my heart stopped the left side of my face has gone numb how are you calling for burger shot the heart stopper hey the, the heart stopper there we go burger shot it's the six pound i'm down you fuck it without the heart stopper seven patties six pounds of meat and cheese you'll be flatlined in five seconds flat mm. this is a fucking good burger drive in take out burger shot die with a smile on your face hell yeah these people know what the fuck i want it's back. The groundbreaking formulaic cliffhanger 72. Can Judd Parker save the world from terrorists by staying up for three days and torturing every person of color he can find? I hope so. What the fuck? The cliffhanger begins soon, only on Weasel. And now, we're back in the place where your mom's phone number is scrawled in the stall, the men's room with Yeah. I fucking love this shit, dude. Who's on line three? Yeah. Hey, uh, am I on? This is Mike. What's up, Mike? I tell you what, Baz. My boy Jeff, he is your number one fan. Are you Good. sure he's in the joint right now? But he'll be out in a couple of years. Man, you really put a lot of great advice in your show. Thank I you. mean it. You know, Thank you. you gotta put yourself first or people will put you second, you know? I mean, history has some great examples of that. Thanks, Mike, and thanks, Jeff. Now, a lot of people in the joint should learn from my advice. You are the boss or you are the bitch. Mm -hmm. That is exactly. my next book. I don't believe in an eye for an eye. Oh no, because boss believes in an eye for two eyes. Or better yet, an eye for two eyes and an ear and a spleen. And maybe a new shirt because oh. this one is covered in entrails. Yeah! Like that! Who wants to knife fight with me in the audience? Who wants to knife fight with me? Bass. Yeah! Bass. Cowards. Bass. Really constipated. You know, I had a colon cleansing. It was really fantastic. Man, I had so much fecal matter impacted inside of me. Ugh, it was such a drag. I tell you what, boss says will clean you right out. A nail gun. Bop, bop, bop. And yeah. Then I grab a circular saw and then I cut off your arm. Uh, Just like it. And I start hitting with the wet part of the arm. I'm on a construction motif right now. Okay, let's go to the phones. So, who's on line five? Hey, man. My name's Jack. I'm a big fan of the show since you What's came up? back on air. I have a question. Is cyber sex cheating? Like, I've got a video camera up to my junk and I'm in a chat room all lubed up. All my online friends say my junk looks amazing. My hobby doesn't hurt anyone, but my wife's divorcing me. I tell you, I hate the internet. It's for cats and pedophiles, and it's for girly men who want to trick bus. And let me tell you, it's not like real life. I love myonlineme.com. You know, you can really get in touch with yourself by building a little virtual character and uh, building him a house and making him go to the bathroom and watching him sleep you know what i hate it that's what i do i walked up to the people in virtual reality and i can't break their legs what good <laughs> is virtual reality if you can't make people <laughs> it's bullshit you know what this is jeremy what watch this what's this? that that's toilet paper absolutely right you <laughs> realize that everything around you is a weapon hmm. toilet paper spoons a hacksaw if you're in a lot of trouble you have real ultimate power listen and you will learn now let me tell you i've been around i was in the bar once and i said something to this drag queen and she kicked me in the nuts can you believe that <laughs> listen i don't take shit from nobody especially a man who dresses as a woman so i grab her by the fucking hair and i bounce her head <laughs> Okay, who's in charge now, huh? So oh my God. comes out and he attacks me. I grab a beer ball, pack, break it on the table, stab it in his face, get yeah, yeah. he's bleeding everywhere, and down he goes, and he had glass in his eye. Drag queen screams, oh, what's going on? I need to come. I look at him in the eye, and I say, listen, buddy, 
This day of misery has just begun. Right Holy fuck. Face. And another guy comes to me with a pool cue. Like, oh, oh, not enough weapons now. Okay, see, listen. Are you going to do something with that? And I slid his throat. Over and out. He was gurgling. And then I licked his face. And I started laughing. Ha <laughs> ha! And the bartender! It was unbelievable! Fuck you, bartender! I walked outside. I get on the motorcycle. And I get back to my house. Finally, when I was home, I took a long, warm bubble bath. I like that. Yeah. Well, thanks for that. Well, we're straight out of time. Uh, see you next time in the men's room. Oh, good show. Good fucking show. God damn, dude. Oh, all right, y'all. Have a good one. Take care. Listen to Boz. He knows his shit.